guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to part two of our product and services database tutorial in the Getting Started series of Measure Square 8. In today's video, we'll cover the product list. To access our product list, we'll go up to Product Services, right click, and go to View Modified Details. In the top center here, you'll see we have a new product button. We can left click here to build a new product into our database, and it will show up not only on the left hand side, but in our spreadsheet view as well. In this way, we can add in a product easily and efficiently rather than having to go through the View Modify Details window every time. For example, we can make a new Broadloom here, adjust our unit of measure, the width of our product, the roll length, pricing, markup, margin, and so on. If we'd like to duplicate a product, we can click on the duplicate button located to the right of the add new product. In this way, we can save ourselves some data entry and simply rename the product like so. If we'd like to move a product up or down the list, simply left click on the item and click on the up arrow to move it around the list. To delete an item, left click to highlight and then select the X to delete. Note that a pop-up may occur asking us to delete the product and any associations that it might have with our project. We'll go ahead and click OK. To sort your list alphabetically, click on the A to Z button. Go ahead and click Yes on the pop-up to continue. With the drop-down arrow, we also have the ability to set our price markup or our box price markup as well for ceramic or other boxed goods. Please note that in our naming conventions, we recommend not using symbols such as a comma or slash. In our next video in the Getting Started series, we will cover area item setup, such as carpet, tile, and hardwood.